All right, we're back. Today we're going to talk about our very basic ideas around posture, standing up straight, how do we set everything in, in place, and then also how do we take our basic posture here and start to change shapes because we don't just live here as athletes, we have to bend and twist and move. And we're going to go into one bowed flexed position, this globally flexed position, that's called our hollow body from the gymnastics world, and then we're going to go the other direction. We're going to go into our arch rock position, our arch body position, and that's going to be that global extension. We spend a lot of time there as athletes, Olympic lifters, runners, swimmers, especially. You guys are in this globally extended position all the time. But basic posture, I always do this with my athletes and say, hey, show me your perfect posture. And everyone been standing in different places. They bring their feet back in and they're up nice and tall. I'm like, hey, how did you do that? Well, your parents taught you well, or it's just something that intuitively is right. I've yet today meet someone who I say, show me perfect posture, they go further this way. Why? This just doesn't feel very good. If I'm flying on a plane, I might start off here, it's all right. But after a while, I go down and finally my head's on the guy's shoulder to the next to me and I might be drooling on him a little bit and I wake up and my shoulder and my neck is a little bit sore. We know that when we're out of alignment, things, uh, bad things start to happen. It doesn't feel very good. Now, in order to create that alignment, we need tension in the body. So it's not just about that core, that belly, but everything. My legs need to be tight. My belly needs to be tight. Kelly Starrett, mobility bod, mobility watch says, Hey, what do I do with my pelvis? Do I tuck that thing? How far do I know? We need easy answers. I say, Hey, squeeze my butt. That locks my pelvis in pretty darn good. Why? Because it's your butt anatomically designed to set your pelvis. So squeeze your butt, that locks that pelvis into that position that we want. We're set to go. But as I said, basic posture here. I don't live here as an athlete. I need to bend and twist and move. So the first thing we're gonna do, get ourselves onto our back. We're gonna build that hollow body position up. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go down onto the ground and I'm gonna have my legs at 90, my knees at 90. I'm gonna start to Pull my shoulders up off the ground, my hands up off the ground. So the only thing that's pressing hard is that low back, and I want a lot of pressure in that low back here. From here, I'm gonna challenge this position just by adding my arms to my legs. The first thing I'm gonna do is extend one leg and point my toe. And remember, I need tension, so this leg needs to be on. As soon as it starts to get a little mushy, I get into trouble. So this leg's gonna be on. If I have this, I'm gonna bring an arm overhead, I'm going to have that, I'm going to bring the other arm overhead, doesn't matter which one, don't worry, and then the other leg. If I have this, can I lower everything together? I'm already starting to shake a little bit without my low back coming off. As soon as I start to arch and break here, I've lost my basic posture and position. So basic hollow body, start here. If I have this, I can add an arm, add arm and leg, and then all of a sudden I'm fully extended, and can I just practice holding this position? Squeezing my legs, my butt, my belly, everything nice and tight. Basic hollow body. Now, if I have that, can I add a little bit of movement to it? I'm gonna start here. This leg is kicked out, hands are here. I'm gonna drive with this leg. I'm gonna push forward and pull back. And that's gonna keep my whole body connected and together. So I push forward and then I pull back. Go through here, once again. Can I add an arm? Doesn't matter which one. Another arm, both legs. Nice and smooth. That's what we're looking for. Now, we want to be able to build that up. At first, it might be hard for 10, 20 seconds, but we want to be able to build it up for maybe even a couple minutes. Can I do it for two, three, or four minutes uninterrupted? That's what they needed in the gymnastics world. How strong do you need to be for what you're doing? I don't know, but it's something worth thinking about. But we don't just live here either. This is a great way to stabilize and strengthen everything. We need to flip ourselves around. So I'm gonna get onto my belly and I'm gonna work on this basic arch body position. I'm here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, squeeze my belly hard, push my hips hard into the ground. I'm then gonna pull my arms up off the ground and pull my legs up off the ground. What I wanna do is think about my whole body bowing up together as opposed to having a local kink in the spine. A local kink in the spine, that's that overextension idea that Kelly Starrett once again talks about a lot. We want to avoid that, no good. So I'm here, squeeze my belly, squeeze my butt hard, and then from here I'm going to pull everything up off the ground, 
and just once again hold and stabilize. This looks like that Superman position. I can pretend I'm flying, but we want to add a little bit of movement. That's the next thing. So I'm here. Can I then alternate pulling my legs up off the ground and then pulling my arms up off the ground? So I'm going to go legs, arms. My basic arch rock position. So there you have it. Basic posture, stand up tall, squeeze my belly, squeeze my butt, sets everything in. Can I then take this basic posture and position and start to change it? Can I go global flexion, hollow body, and hollow rock? Can I go global extension, arch body, and arch rock? Once I have this, this starts building up my basic core posture, strength, and positioning. It also starts to prime me up for some of my more advanced movements. I can take in a lot of directions, running, swimming, Olympic lifting, basic rolling and tumbling in the gymnastics world. So this is our basic physical language at the root. So there you go. Try it out. And uh, we'll be back with more videos soon.